the playwright. A person who writes plays. Since the 1600s, the playwright has become more of an independent artist rather than co-creator and mentor. A playwright is not simply a writer per se, in the sense that a poet or a novelist is a writer. First and foremost, a playwright writes action. The core of every play is action. Therefore, a play is not merely an arrangement of words on a page. It is the conceptualization of the action or the interaction of all theatrical elements, movement, speech, scenery, costume, staging, music, spectacle. A play, the written script, is a blueprint for the play. The writing must be a pretext for the acting. The playwright works with two tools, dialogue and physical action. Furthermore, the play cannot be put together until the playwright has conceived of an event, and then a series of events designed to be enacted on the stage. These events may be constructed in a linear or chronological order or a nonlinear fashion. Nonlinear would be a story that jumps perhaps forward and backward in time in flashbacks or perhaps alternates between fantasy and reality. The 13 qualities of a fine play can be listed as credibility, intrigue, speakability, stageability, flow, richness, depth of characterization, gravity, pertinence, compression, economy, intensity, and celebration. These 13 qualities and their definitions are very important for you in that they will aid us in discussing the plays we will be viewing within this course. So pay close attention here. Credibility. Credibility means that the character must maintain consistency within themselves. Intrigue is the quality that makes us ask, what happens next? Intrigue draws us into the world of the play. Credibility keeps us there. Speakability, stageability, and flow. Speakability refers to the dialogue. It must be written so that it achieves its maximum impact when spoken. The playwright must be very aware of the audio shape of the dialogue, the rhythm of sound, the use of verbal climaxes, fast punchlines, significant pauses, whispers, stinging sarcasm. All of these devices are a part of the speakability. Stageability demands that the dialogue be inextricably entwined with the physical action of the play, the staging and the stage business. Speakability and stageability contribute to the flow of the play. The flow consists of a continuous stream of information. A play that flows is one that is continually saying something, doing something, meaning something to the audience. Flow deals with the shifting of scenes, the entrances and exits of the actors, the act breaks, etc. Richness. Richness describes the way the playwright creates his world. When speaking of richness, we refer to richness of detail and richness of dimension. Richness of detail is when specific people are engaged in specific tasks in a specific place. Richness of dimension refers to a play's depth, which leads us directly into the most important factor in determining a play's richness of dimension, which is the depth of its characterizations. Depth of characterization requires that every character possess an independence of intention, expression, 
and motivation. They must remain true to themselves. Even if we never completely understand their deepest motivation, say, in a villainous or psychotic character, we should be able to sense at the bottom of any character's behavior a validity of purpose, however twisted or perverse we may find it. Gravity and pertinence. To say a play has gravity is to say that a play's central theme is one of serious and lasting significance, that it deals with serious issues that have a lasting significance to humanity, whether it be aging, love, insecurity, ambition, loss, disillusionment. If a play has pertinence, it in some way relates to current personal concerns of the audience, be they political social, interpersonal, and a play can have both gravity and pertinence. Compression, economy, and intensity. Compression refers to the playwright's skill in condensing a story into a theatrical time frame. Economy relates to eliminating or consolidating characters, words, events, locales, and the service of compression. So we compress or condense the story so that it doesn't last more than two hours. And in doing so, we might have to economize or eliminate or consolidate some of the characters or events or locales. Compressing and consolidating a story and the events surrounding it can stimulate intrigue in a play, focusing the audience's attention and thus leading to intensity. A tightly written play gives us the feeling that we're on the trail of something important all the time and that the answer is right around the corner, just in the next scene. When a playwright has managed to make every scene, every incident, every character, and every word deliver impact, he or she has satisfied the demand for dramatic intensity. And finally, celebration. A fine play celebrates life. This might sound all gobbledygook or esoteric, but the theater's fundamental aspiration is to extend our known experience, to illuminate our life and raise existence to the level of art.